Hi guys, it's Josie. Um, I wanted to talk to you about uh, Goodwill and thrifting. Uh, it's something I do a lot to get my clothes because I'm a teenager. I don't have a source of income as of yet until I turn 18 uh, to sell things on the internet, which will be fun. But a lot of people don't. A lot of people think that Goodwill is just for older people, it's just for ugly clothes, it's got a lot of misconceptions about it. But if you look in the right places and you know what you're trying to find, or you are you have an open mind for how to use things in different ways than you normally would, there can be a huge potential for not a lot of money. Especially if you do a lot of modification for your clothes or want to try it, that way you don't have to put in as much money and worry about ruining something you spent a lot on. So yeah, I wanted to share some of the things that I've found before in hopes that maybe you'll go out and search yourself finding things similar. So from here on out, I'm showing you guys some of the really awesome things I've found. Um, I actually found my first pair of skinny jeans at Goodwill. Um, bright blue corduroy ones, but um, here I found in the men's section, social collision, pinstripe skinny jeans in exactly my size um, and these this is a brand they sell at Hot Topic a lot and found found them at Goodwill for six dollars when you normally would pay about five times that at least at Hot Topic for them new and just on my re most recent trip a few days ago I found this pair, bright blue uh, leopard print, which is Miley Cyrus Max Azria. I don't like my Miley Cyrus, but her clothes tend to be really cute. And then um, you can find a lot of really awesome stuff around holiday time, so if you're really into any certain holiday, uh, minus Halloween, I love Halloween. But you can find things there a few weeks before and especially right after for really good prices and then use them all year if you want to or just have really good stuff to store for Ow. <laughs> store for later. Uh, my favorite things that I found this year for Halloween, I found a really awesome nurse costume with the little hat and it came with a really cool a uh, choke, spike choker and a new pair of fishnets for three dollars all of that which is really awesome and then I found this awesome Toil and Trouble shirt with the cool witchy tattoo sleeve type sleeves they're <laughs> it's really really comfortable and the sleeves are really cool textured and I've actually had a teacher ask me if I got my tattoos done which was really quite amusing. Um, I found this really pretty sweater uh, a couple months ago, I believe. It's got the corset stitching type style down the side. So it's like this all down the sleeves and they're nice big flowy sleeves. They're really awesome. And it's really soft. And I got that for, I believe it was two and a half dollars. And then up at up in Wisconsin at the Goodwill, I found some. It's a, one of the really big ones. We have a small one in my local town, but at a really big one, I found some really cool things. Uh, Panic at the Disco shirt, which is really amusing. I wear that sometimes on the weekends and stuff. And then this one that's just bite me. And a really cool another Halloween one. And the skull is made out of bats and pumpkins and gravestones. And the teeth are candy corn. I don't know if you can see it very well. But I really like that one. It's really cool. I was thinking about modding that one into a cutoff for this summer. Um, oh, you can find some really amusing sweaters that can work for younger people or older. I found this one. I think it's really cute because all of them are little kid ghosts and then there's a real ghost on the end. 
Mm, that was two and a half like the other one, I think. I believe all sweaters at my Goodwill are two and a half dollars. Then the t-shirts end up being a dollar and a half, two dollars a piece. So if you find ones you really like, it can be really awesome. And then, oh, I found a really nice black blazer that is Marona. And it's really cute. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a really cute black blazer. Four and a half dollars for any blazer at my local Goodwill. I don't know how much they are across the country and the world. I don't know if other countries have Goodwills, but thrift stores can be really big on this. And this one, my Skull Medusa. It's even got skulls, the skull serpents, skull, bone serpents all across the back and on the sleeves and stuff. Liquid blue. I don't know, but that's really awesome. And I actually got that one on sale for 50 cents. And something you should always, always, always look at at thrift stores, especially Goodwill, is shoes. Especially if you're a weird size. Like, I have really small feet to look for boys' shoes and really big feet to look for girls' shoes. I wear an 8 in men's and a 10 in women's, so it can be hard to find shoes that I really like. But at Goodwill, I tend to find a lot more than I do absolutely anywhere else. Uh, for prom last year, I got my shoes. They are brand new, my size Paris Hilton, and I got those for $12. And they are beautiful in perfect condition. And those are normally $100 a pair. Uh, you can find some really cool Converse. I got some of the, the double... The, that's blue and green. I don't think you can see that. But it's blue and green on the inside. The separate layered pairs. I got a pair of those for $2. And then these are Converse too. They can be like boots. Like this. Or fold over. And have little buckles on the sides and they're really cute with the plaid on the inside. Um, I found my first color pair of colored Converse which are really cool purple and they matched my hair for a long time because my hair was all purple for three or four months. And then one of my favorite shoe finds yet is my Dragon Combat boots. They've got really awesome dragons embroidered on the sides, and they fit me perfectly. They have no size on them whatsoever, but they fit me perfectly. And uh, they are Funky Chunk brand. I really, really like those, though, and those were $4 for boots. So you never know what you're going to find if you look in thrift stores and Goodwill and Secondhand stores, secondhand things can be your absolute favorites, and you shouldn't be afraid to try it, or at least look and see if you can find something you like. Because you can spend a lot less for something that you're going to absolutely love because you found it yourself, not because there were five of them on the rack. Good luck. Love you guys.